Sarah Jones. We have a disturbing update. Accuses the movie's director of setting up a scene on an active train track. Authorities are now investigating this crash as a homicide. Movie producers sued over the death of a young woman. The lawsuit named the film's director and many others involved. When you turn the corner, you saw something on the track that didn't use the brakes in any form or manner whatsoever, correct? That is correct. Do you know what the job of the film director is? No. Rainier is, is our partner for the city and a partner for the community and a partner for all the people in the community. That you would be present at all times? Did I government? have a written agreement? No. Yeah. So I'll be accompanied at all times by Rainier's authorized representative, Keeney Kicklight. So I don't read our legal documents. We gave access to that property, which is very different than if we had somebody touring the mill who we would be responsible for. Well, what's the difference between touring the interior of the mill and touring the exterior of the mill? Do you know who Dwayne Adams is? Not right now, I don't, man. Perez there. That's Jack Perez there. Yeah. That's who it looked like the ones that was on the golf course. Will you uh, give me a little bit more information on who Dwayne yeah. Adams was? <laughs> Dwayne Adams is an employee of the pump mill that was out there at the scene that saw you drive away. Was he was he employed at the mill at the time of the event? He's the plant manager for him, Jack Perrette. You're right. He was down there on the golf cart watching the filming. Wouldn't you think that he would be a person that should be questioned? The fact that Red Nair is the largest corporation in this county had any effect on whether or not Jack Perrette was interviewed? The answer to that is it did not. Is there any reason why CSX doesn't take a statement from you on the night of the incident? The sheriff of Wayne County didn't want one and CSX didn't want one. As a deputy sheriff, an assistance car. Don't you think that somebody should have interviewed the engineer driving the train that ran over? Is Rainey influential at all in just a, in terms of what happened to Miller? Is what now? Have you ever filed bankruptcy? Yes. Isn't it true sometime after the incarceration, Mr. Miller, that you received thirty thousand dollars? You needed some money, they'd call on Rainier and they'd give you money. I mean it pays my bills. But if they refuse, we'll have to force them to do some work in hopes that we'll force their hand to file bankruptcy. Did you write that? I did write that. The only time the engineer that I've been working with has ever put the train in emergency, and not prior, always at the impact. And who to charge with a death on the railroad that you ought to investigate each and every person involved? We realized that this was a situation in which it was I fairly just, clear about what happened. The sentence that was imposed was actually an illegal sentence. <laughs> well, this is Georgia. Come here on vacation and you leave on probation.